Hey everybody, Michael Nelson, the Cogent Coach here, and welcome to the Internet Marketing Number 7 video. This is the last in our series on Internet Marketing and how uh, it's best used within a small business. I've called this one Get Started. I mean, you've got enough now to uh, at least understand the basics, understand some of the things that you should be looking for, and there's no better time than the present to get started on driving your internet marketing efforts and helping it uh, build your company. So with that said, I thought what I would do is walk through a few useful tools. Um, some of these I mentioned, but uh, you know I thought I would write them out a little bit easier to understand sometimes and, and follow. And so first off, there's Google Analytics. And Google Analytics, as you recall, is the tool that lets you track how many visitors you have to your website, where they're coming from, what search queries they entered, which is very useful when you're targeting keywords. Um, you can see uh, the time-sensitive uh, analysis of, say, week-to-week -week or day-to-day -day or month-to-month, -month, or you can track several months and watch where your spikes are. So when you're doing things like writing blog posts, when you're writing articles, when you're updating your website, when you're using uh, Web 2.0, which is the social media, uh, the online directories, etc., if you remember, we talked about tracking what you did. And then you can compare the dates that you did something and see where you get a bump in your visitors. And that's going to help you understand this was effective, this resulted in nothing at all, um, was basically invisible. And so you know where you want to put your resources towards and what things that you'll want to avoid. Now, in some cases, the things that you'll be doing are long term. And so you'll also need to be aware of canceling something too soon. For instance, we talked about backlinks. Uh, when you make a backlink, it takes some time for the search engines to find it. So one of the things that I'm always working on when I'm doing my internet marketing and, and when I'm doing the work I do for clients on internet marketing is making sure I let the search engines know that there was an article update, that there was a directory update, etc., so that they are immediately cataloged into those backlinks and they can impact the ranking that way. The next tool we mentioned uh, was Google Webmaster Tools. These are a great suite of tools that are going to allow you, one, to understand what, if any, problems Google is having in indexing your site and walking through it and reporting what's there and finding things. And it's going to tell you how many backlinks that it sees that you currently have. Now, remember also, it's not going to give you the true up-to-date information, and it's also not going to tell you how old it is. So treat it as an approximation, which it is. Any of these different places that we've talked about, finding your backlinks, etc., they're all going to be trend-oriented. You're never going to be able to pin down the exact number because they're not going to provide it to you. So treat them as trends. Uh, you're seeing your backlinks go up. The other thing that you'll see is you'll see them go down periodically. Why is that? Because some of these links may be on a directory where your article might be on the front page and then it stays there for a week and then it moves off and that's a natural flow for that particular directory and so that will remove a link there it's going to put it somewhere else Google takes a little bit to go and find where it went so you'll see ups and downs in those as well the next thing I wanted to point out and highlight is a real easy and handy tool and that's the uh, Google Chrome browsers open in an incognito window so if you go up to the top into file and then open a new incognito window, it opens up basically a blank slate. It's not influenced by anything you've searched. And this is a great way to see where you are. If you've searched your site before, you know, you'll usually come in number three. The real number one will typically always be found on top. And then there might be, you know, another one there. But you'll be usually no lower than three. Now, if you go to the incognito browser and open it up, you may not be on the front page. You might be on page five. So this is a good way to understand. And the other thing you'll notice with this is a lot of these places where you go and you search for and, and look for uh, a business that can help you grow online, they're going to show things like this. Oh, we've got everyone at number one. Be wary of those. You know, sort of the buyer beware. Because I can make any site in the world look like it's number three on Google just by doing a search for it, clicking on it, and then doing another search. So you'll want to see, you know, at least the incognito piece up there. And also, even if they can't show you those things because maybe they have NDAs with their clients, at least make sure that you go through the conversation with them, like the things that we've talked about in this video series, so that you understand their approach to helping you and making sure it's focused on you instead of just the set of tools that they might have. Now, here's a quick one that uh, I use, and I find it really interesting. 
um, this search query. So if you you know just enter this into your Google search window and and make sure you notice all these things like there's a period here, there's a period here, um, the correct spacing and and so on. And here in your site, so in mine that would just be the Cogent Coach, and then in www thecogentcoach.com. Put your information in there. Note up here there's no .com or anything. It's just like you see it. You enter that and it's a quick way to tell how many links that you can find that are indexed, that are easy. Now this is a real fast one. It's not going to give you everything. Um, what I've found in Webmaster Tools is sometimes I'll have 18,000 links there and I'll have 740 based on this search query. And the day before in the search query I might have had 12,000. So once again, treat these as trends and just watch them. Um, the real thing that you're going to watch in terms of results for all of the background piece is what you're ranking. Where are you showing up in the search engines? Everything else is a way to get you there. And then remember this, you know, how to, you know, the search engines, that's nothing more than a step again along the way to your overall goals. So number one on the search engine, great. What do you do when they get to your site? You know, are you converting them? You know, they arrive here and they see X, Y, and Z, and then they leave. Well, that's not what you want. So the on-site, which we didn't cover as much in this uh, video series, is also quite critical because now you've got the people in your store, to, so to speak. How are you going to start that relationship with them? If you recall back to, I believe, the second video, how are you getting those touches? And then what are you doing with those touches to convert? You know, great to have fans, nice to have customers as well if you're going to stay in business. So remember, these are just steps along the way. And, and don't fall for the, you know, the links is the end-all, be-all, or the ranking is the end-all, be-all. Here's what you're after. How does it translate into your business goals? Okay, you know, I, I'm beating a dead horse here, I think. But, um, you know, goals are big. Return on investment or return on effort is big to me. But let's not uh, forget that when we talk internet marketing, it is marketing, right? This isn't magic. This is marketing. And it's marketing with a different execution, just like marketing on television requires a little bit different approach than marketing in print or in the radio, audio. So what do you need? You know, once again, we go back to some of my favorite words. Goals, metrics, and a budget. What are you going to do with this? Why are you doing it? How does it contribute to where your business is going? How are you tracking that success? What are your metrics? And then from the beginning, how much are you going to allocate to this financially, time, uh, resources of your people, um, etc.? And then track all of this along the way back here with the metrics as well as the budget and your performance towards your goals. So remember, don't treat it like it's magic. It's not. It's just a form of marketing. And also have realistic expectations. Because you can fall for the hype of, I'm going to get you to number one on Google. And, you know, that sort of thing. And that's something that I've been fairly consistently able to do for my customers and clients, is get them very high up into the top five on Google, even for very competitive keywords. But when we do that, it's a part of something else. It's a part of those goals. You're standing here. Here's your business goals. So we're going to get the internet marketing to do some goals and their intermediate goals on the way to your business goals. That's where the focus is. These are just steps along the way. They need to be done. They need to be measured. They need to be done well. But they are all to get us down here. So know how to monitor this campaign, both if you're doing it yourself or if you're getting someone else to do it. They should be able to talk to you about what your goals are, how this is moving towards it, and they should be realistic with you. If someone says, you know, in two weeks we're going to, you know, have hundreds and thousands of people at your site and they're going to be customers, they're probably just trying to get the deposit. You know, when we work with people, we sit down right at the beginning, we work through what are your goals, how are we going to try and do this, what keywords, what areas are we going to try and focus on, and then what's the purpose? Is it an informational site? Is it a sales site? And then we look at the page. When people get here to your website, how do we convert them? How do we begin that conversation and get those touches going? all as a part of the bigger whole. And then the last part is how do you make that enduring? The web is great in that re respect because it's inexpensive relatively and it sticks. You know, the television commercial's over, 
and it's not going to go anywhere. It might end up on someone's TiVo, but you're going to get fast forwarded through that, so it doesn't have that enduring value. You do something on the web, and for the most part, it's going to stay there. Now, you need to continue to work on keeping it there, and there's some things that will expire, but it's great enduring marketing. So remember, focus on the goals. The visitors are great, but what are you going to do with them? Okay, remember, this is marketing. So let's move on, and this is the last piece of what we have. So first of all, thank you very much for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, watch this video series, the Cogent Internet Marketing 7-part video series. I've had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you've gotten some value out of it, uh, and you're a little bit more educated about what Internet marketing is about. And uh, as a small business owner, myself included, our resources are dear to us. We don't have time to throw away. In many cases, if we allocate a lot of time to something, we're taking it from something else. And maybe that is our, our family time, our hobby time, or whatever it is, our recharge time. You know, We don't want to give that away easily. Money is dear to us. We don't want to just throw money at everything, especially if we don't need to. So a part of this was to help educate people on what marketing can do in terms of on the internet for their site, how to be realistic about it, and how to evaluate whether or not you're getting the results that uh, you should be. And then I'd like to say, if you've enjoyed it, if you've learned something, if you felt it was of value, please send it out to all your friends. Tell them about it. Here's the link, um, and this will take them right to a page where they can sign up for the video series. Uh, it's on my website, thecogentcoach.com, under Resources. The drop-down menu goes to Internet Marketing. Um, but this is the direct link to make it easier. They can sign up for the series and take advantage of it as well. Um, and also, in, in conclusion, I'd like to uh, beg a favor, if you would. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you feel that you've received value from this, um, would you please take a moment to write a brief testimonial and tell me a little bit about how this was of value to me, or to you? And then send it to me at info at thecogentcoach.com. That would be fantastic. Um, people like to know that other people have seen something and they've valued it and it's worth their time. And that will help other people take advantage of this as well. And uh, to those of you who along the way have been sending me information about the different videos, thank you so much. It's always fantastic to get feedback uh, and even better when that feedback is positive. So um, I've really enjoyed uh, being with you and putting this video series together. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. And best of luck to you out there in your internet marketing effort. Um, and if we can help you uh, with that, either uh, educate you more or answer any questions that you might have, um, again, the address there, info at thecogentcoach.com, will be great. And if we can uh, help you with any of your campaigns, feel free to contact us as well. We do a, a free one-hour consultation, a strategy session um, with prospective uh, clients and customers uh, we help them work through a problem along the way, too, and that gives us a chance to see if what we're doing uh, can help you and if we're the appropriate folks and learn a little bit more about each other. So I uh, hope you'll take advantage of that, and I'll see you soon. Take care.